Thank you, Deputy Speaker. I want to pay tribute to Carrington Public School, which is celebrating its 150th anniversary this year. A special Hall of School Assembly took place on Friday during New South Wales Education Week. Attendees included some of the school's oldest living alumni, the two Jones, Joan McAldrick and Joan Stewart, both aged 93, who started kindergarten together in 1935, and a 92-year-old Audrey Milne. Another special guest was former Carrington School Principal from 1991 to 1996, and my predecessor in this place, the former member for Newcastle, Sharon Grierson, who is in fact back in Parliament House this week. Carrington Public School opened on the 16th of September 1873 as Wambigamba Public School, meaning Mud Crab Place, and it became Carrington Public School in 1889. A traditionally working class community adjacent to heavy industry and the working port of Newcastle, the school has always been the beating heart of Carrington's tight-knit community, educating generations of Novocastrians. More than 20% of students today are Aboriginal and 50% come from low socioeconomic families. Carrington Public School is providing quality public education to ensure that all students get the best start in, in life. To mark the anniversary, students, staff and guests were presented with a commemorative T-shirt designed by artists and um, Kula Fay in collaboration with students. Happy 50th anniversary.